Yep. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Michael Choi here, and today's video is dedicated toward mastery. We've, uh, we're here in Nyka, and it's, it's a real uh, special video because we're here in Nyka. It's just off Chapel Street. It's a state-of-the-art facility with the best of the best. I'm talking the best of the best trainers, the best of the circus, gymnasts, um, cheerleaders, break dancers, all come here and they and they train. And tonight we've got Simon, aka Simon Monster, Mass Mayhem, Mass Mayhem crew. Uh, he won't tell you this, but I will. Uh, Victorian champions, five-time Victorian champion, Australian champion. Simon's considered the number one dancer, break dancer, power mover in Australia and ranked in the top few in the planet. Um, the things that this guy do is just phenomenal, but rather than me just say it, we'll show you. Ball's over to you, Simon. Just <laughs> to warm up. That's all. <laughs> there you go, Sun Monster from Mass Mayhem. Just while Simon's getting his breath, I'll just, um, I'll just touch on a few points here. Uh, how long have you been dancing for? 13, 13, 13 years. years now. And uh, I've seen him in this journey, and a lot of people say that they wish they could be as good as Simon, that they give their whole life to be um, as good as Simon at, at dancing like that. And the thing is, Simon has given his whole life. The amount of sacrifice that this guy has gone through, through uh, the, the hours of training, saying no to uh, the, the, the good things in life or, or the, the, the temptations in life, um, the, the food that he's eating, um, the, the injuries that he's gone through. And, you know, overnight, su overnight success takes a hell of a lot, a lot of time. And if you saw how much work that Simon goes into, you, you just go, hey, you know, You'd expect it to be this good. Um, it just doesn't happen like that. He's really, really sacrificed. But I just wanted to ask Simon a couple of questions because um, to get like that, just to put things more into perspective, what you just saw, Simon did one move one way and then he did the other move the other way. People will train a decade to learn one of those moves that he was doing, the whole decade, and Simon's doing it the other way. It's just like he's spitting in our face. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. But um, so. Where did you get the motivation from to be able to train so hard to be able to produce that? Um, when I was younger, I wasn't the most coordinated person and <laughs> didn't pick up things very quickly. Yeah, I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> but worked hard at it, saw some results early on, yeah. got a lot better than I thought I'd be in the first couple of years and that set the foundation for me to work as hard as I could to get moves. Yeah. So I just learnt that hard moves pay off. Hard, hard moves, hard work pays off, yeah. and you get the hard moves. Yeah, exactly. And so, what goes through your mind in terms of not giving up? How do you not give up? Because that's what, it, to me, that's what it's about. Yeah, I think if, if anyone sticks at it, you'll get it. As I said, I wasn't very coordinated, put everything I put into it. Um, I set myself reminders. Motivation comes in short bursts, so yep, use, like it, it. use it while it's there. Yep. Um, but, you know, I write myself little notes, you know, how bad do you want this move? Yeah. Set it as a back, background on your computer screen. Yeah. Do I want to go on Facebook or do I want to do the move? Yeah, exactly. Good one. I like it. Um, and what life lessons has, has breakdancing um, taught you? Um, as I said before, because I wasn't very very coordinated and it took me a long time to get the moves, um, initially I thought you either have it or you don't. Talent's something that you have or you don't. You're either good at something or you're not. Yeah. That's but what you from, thought. Yeah, that's what I thought initially, but from breaking I learned that if you put your heart and soul into anything, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Hard work will be talent every time. Yeah, I love that quote. That set, set the foundation for, for school, for my career, for life. For stuff. life, yeah. 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 Well, I have a lot more confidence now that I can do things that people say I can't yeah. if I just work at it. You just don't say no, you just keep at it. You exactly. Just don't give up. Um, I wanted to touch on a couple of points as well. So that I think you can relate a few things to that to your real estate career, but um, Simon and I, um, so I grew up in the same crew as Simon Mass Mayhem. I'm probably the, the orange squeezer now and the older bench warmer. Um, I've retired, but um, I don't have a six pack, I've got a keg. And, um, but the, the lessons I've learned as well was specialising. So um, Simon specialised in doing the power, I specialised in doing, say, handstands. We had a flipper. Some of the, you know, did all the flips, and so we all specialised so that when we battled against other crews, when they did certain moves, um, we would come out and we would, it might only be one move that each person would do, but we would do it to perfection, and that's what, 
won us the listings and that's what it's all about so I think it's about in real estate and that's how I set up my crew um, my crew my team in real estate uh, we all specialize in different sectors different farm areas different types of real estate and that just gave us the power in my listing presentation the other thing uh, life lesson that I learned is just longevity uh, which is just hanging in there uh, a lot of some has been in for 13 years now where a lot of people have just stopped and, and gave up uh, and I think in real estate it's the same thing. Most, so many people just give up just when they're about to just go over that peak, where they're about to have that pinnacle moment in their real estate career. If they just hanged on, they, they, they would have that success that they dreamt of. So I just encourage you to hang on, because I think I do believe a lot of real estate success is not only the training and the hard work, but it's also just the longevity, just hang in there, because a lot of successful real estate agents are successful simply because they just hanged on when others didn't. So just a quick summary. Uh, motivation, look for your motivation uh, and put it in places, put reminders. As Simon said, it's not just nature and nurture, it's about if you believe you can do it, you can do it. Um, specialize and uh, also just hang on, longevity. Uh, we'll finish off with something a little bit fun. I'll do some push ups and then I'll show you how uh, the number one B boy does some push ups. So these are my push ups, these are real estate agent push ups, and we've got sirens. <laughs> Just to show off at the end. Who said that was impossible? Not Simon. Thanks guys for watching in, watching and uh, take care. Cheers. Thanks guys. Simon, Mass Mayhem crew. <laughs> Cheers.